recording. Okay, uh, so I think I can share my screen right now. Um, okay. So hope you guys can uh, see my screen. So um, our project uh, that we got uh, is, uh, as I mentioned earlier, something related to tourism and hotel management system. So uh, at least we'll be uh, listing out hotels, we'll be looking at uh, flights and everything and all those things. So in a scenario like that, we'll be, um, we'll be proposing them, uh, okay, since um, users are coming um, in different uh, countries and everything, so we will probably need to have uh, such a uh, good looking website. Okay, we will go with the website first. And um, since most of the uh, users will be accessing uh, your website will make it responsive because a lot of now these days people are using uh, mobile phones uh, for their uh, daily usages and everything so they will be uh, they will be working with a, a mobile design as well so in order to make sure um, uh, we have the uh, we, we are in the same page as the customers we will propose them um, this, uh, what do you call this uh, prototype, or we'll say design for them, okay? Based on your inputs, okay? We, we have identified, okay, you want to list down hotels, you want to uh, list down flights, you want to uh, assign rooms and everything. Uh, so we have come up with this design and uh, there are certain functionalities that we would like to know. So we will be, uh, searching something like okay you enter your destination uh, check in and check out times and how many people are going to be joining and we can give a search based on the search we will list down um, uh, list down any available hotels or villas or any sort of uh, accommodations that we can find okay that is our requirement so that's 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 the basic of what we got uh, from your uh, input so we will be designing a website, okay? And this website will, um, will have uh, such and such functionality. But uh, one thing uh, we need to make sure, okay, this will be something like uh, user-friendly. That means it's gonna be a responsive website. So uh, we will give them such a mock-up and uh, based on that mock-up, uh, they will say, ah, okay, this is all good. Let's assume that user have approved the mockup. They, they like the colors, they like the uh, everything, and they they are um, they are okay to go ahead with this design. So design is okay, at least for the web one. Uh, so the mobile design, uh, as you can see, there is, uh, we, we, we initially, we, uh, we can start with the mobile design, but uh, if majority of our users are coming from, um, the desktop, we will probably start with the desktop version, but uh, make sure we keep in mind the mobile first development is there since we are using a website. Okay, we have, so uh, that is something that we call a non-functional requirement that we need to keep in mind the usability of this application. And probably we'll, uh, since we have covered uh, mobile development, we will be developing a mobile application, a simple one at least to make sure uh, we adhere to the same requirement. Okay, so first thing first, we have uh, proposed this design to the user. Design is seems to be working as, uh, the design seems to be uh, okay with the user. And um, we, we have the freedom of, uh, we have the choice of making, uh, okay, this is, um, this is uh, what we can do. This is the technology that we're going to be using. So we have the freedom of that and we will be uh, using uh, the tech stack that we have learned so far. So I think um, we use a couple of things. We use uh, front-end frameworks, uh, something like Angular. We will be using that. And for back-end, either we can go Spring Boot or something like MSJS kind of application. So anyone have any uh, other 
uh, other platform uh, uh, other platforms that you guys like to work with okay let's let's work on this project on these technologies or something like that you guys have any inputs so please as as i mentioned this is an open discussion so everybody in here should feel comfortable uh, as i mentioned we are working as a team we are working as a real project environment so uh, each and every one of you have a stake on it that means you guys can say okay no we are not going to do that we are not going to take that technology we will be sticking to this and then we will we, we we should be able to justify that and go on so open in that so please um, give your guys thoughts okay we, we what we will be using what sort of things that we might need to use so any um, proposals or any sub suggestions that you guys think that would make uh, this application uh, easy to develop and as well as it will function as expected. Any input from you guys? Raise your hand if you have anything. I mean, it should be right. I ask you to. I ask you guys to cooperate on this. If you, if you need, you can chat, raise your hand, or speak directly. Either way, it will find. Okay, anything? Anything regarding the tech stack and everything? Okay. All right. So uh, next thing that we need to do, we need to uh, um, start documenting these things. Okay, the first thing that we need to do uh, in any project, remember documentation is one of the key features uh, that we need to do. There are a few reasons. Uh, the first one is we need to have a plan, right? Our plan uh, is uh, where uh, we can we can show to some uh, external parties, or we we need to make sure everybody is in the same page. The other reason is um, the requirements uh, should be in a way that uh, either party cannot oppose, say, oh, no, 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 this is not what we meant, okay? So by documenting the requirement, by documenting whatever we find, we, um, we have uh, agreement with the client. Okay, the client says, ah, okay, yes, this is what we agreed upon. The uh, developer say, okay, yeah, this is what I have agreed upon. So everybody is in the same page. So we, ni neither party can say, no, 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 this is not what we meant or something like that. Since the document is written and approved by the customer, then uh, we, we, we can initially start, the, uh, start everything. And uh, if something, something is not according to the plan as the uh, user mentioned, then we can strict, we can go back and say, no, this is what you have agreed upon. This is what uh, I, uh, we are under the assumption of. So if you are changing this now, it should become as a change request or we, we call in short as a CR, okay? So if you are trying to uh, change the requirement, uh, there are consequences. First thing is uh, the deadline or any uh, commitment that we have done that might change. You can't change uh, while we are doing development. It will be changed. So the deadline might extend or sometimes the deadline might uh, fall. Uh, if, if you are removing something, we might get an early deadline. But either way, the deadline will be affected. The second thing is the cost. Cost will be affected because we initially estimated our our task, our uh, uh, our um, designs, and everything based on what we what we see in the application. So, if you are changing right now, then there's going to be a problem. So we 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 will not accept uh, that kind of uh, changes. If you are if you are saying, okay, this should be changed, there will be cost assigned to it. Okay, some, uh, as, as I mentioned earlier, it can go either way. 
the cost might go up. Sometimes the cost might go down if you are cutting down any uh, requirement or something like that. But most of the time, believe me, it goes in the uh, other direction. That means uh, it's going to add a cost because changes the client or the customer requires is always going to be something additional. They are not going to remove anything. They will be adding something to the system. That is the most of the time the use case will be. Okay. So we see, uh, we see the um, uh, application. Uh, next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a document on that. Okay. There are professional documentation um, uh, tools. Uh, if you guys have worked with a real project, you will probably be uh, uh, working with something like Confluence. If, if you guys have uh, heard the term Confluence. Uh, Confluence is like one of the uh, pro product from Jira, uh, Jira uh, Atlassian software, so uh, the campaign behind Jira. So you guys can use Jira, uh, Jira with Confluence or uh, if, if you do not have uh, uh, such application access such as Jira or something like that, then you guys can uh, use uh, any uh, documentation software um, um, like word editing software would be also fine but we consider that e, uh, that one is not uh, what you call uh, um, that one we, no, no, not to be like professional uh, one so we, we need to make sure we use something more professional, uh, like uh, a good documentation software. But for now, um, the the process is same. The tool might be a little bit different. Uh, we will use uh, some sort of documentation software. So I invite you guys to uh, collaborate in this. Okay. So you, uh, based on your collaboration, I will be assigning marks uh, to your uh to you guys as well okay so i will uh, uh, okay i will share the um share with others anyone can with this link i will give you guys the editor permission okay all right, so I'll share the share the application. So share the Google Doc so you guys can. Um, I'll sh I have shared it in WhatsApp so you guys can check that out. So uh, let me open that in here. So so first thing we, uh, that we need to do we need to make sure the technology stack is well documented. Okay. So you guys know what we're going to be using, what sort of things uh, that we'll be using. So we will say uh, technology stack. Okay, so this is like a draft view. Okay, uh, there might be more, more, more than this. There will be a lot of information regarding the application. But right, right now, we will be giving a sample draft view. So we will be using uh front end framework framework will be angular okay uh back end will be anyone having uh who would like to develop this in java raise your hand uh, we are familiar because you guys will be ultimately developing this i'll set the ground rule Java. Okay. Who would like to uh, use TypeScript or JavaScript? Let's use TypeScript or JavaScript on this. Okay. So we will be using uh, NestJS as the backend. Okay. Uh, you zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, 
<laughs> so I'm just highly uh, saying these functionality. So the uh, next thing is that uh, uh, what we need to do is um, we need to uh, identify uh, we need to identify uh, what are the um, requirement that you guys see in this application, the requirements that you guys can easily see. Okay, so uh, based on this requirement, we will uh, start working. Okay, so the first thing that you will, uh, you guys will see, uh, uh, let's, the best way to get the, uh, an idea the functionalities that we need to do is to do interviews okay to do interviews with the with the client okay with the client uh, you guys need to do interviews okay now time comes uh, we will be collecting uh, we'll be collecting um, the information um, from the client so assume that i am the client Okay, now I am the client right now, and you guys are the developers. Okay, there are no right or wrong questions that you guys need to ask, but in here, uh, you guys need to ask uh, a question that that uh, that will be uh, uh, that will be helpful for the application development. I'll give you guys first one an example. So you guys can see um, the, there is the logo on top, okay? So we, we can assume that this is the application name and everything. And right next to it, right next to it, uh, you guys can see there is the uh, uh, EN US uh, drop down kind of thing is here, okay? So based on that mockup, I can ask a question from the user, from the user, or the from the client. Okay, so I I see that you have a uh, English US a drop down there. That means you will be asking for multiple language support. That means the application should be multi language supported. So uh, currently we see EN US. That means English US. So the next question I will ask, okay, since you need it in uh, multiple languages, multiple locals, uh, what are the languages that you're going to be using? What are the, uh, I'm not talking about the programming languages in here, what are the uh, human languages that uh, you are trying to, uh, you are trying to uh, get, okay? So the first one is, what are the, um uh, human languages to make sure human languages we need to show the site okay so uh as as um as an answer i will say okay i need english and i need singhala singhala to make it make it more uh um, easy i say okay i need uh, English and Singular, both English and Singular within the application. That is my uh, one of my requirements. Okay, so this one is uh, asked by Andika. Okay, so the second question, okay, uh, I'll ask from, uh, so uh, let's, you guys look into this design, have a quick look, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm not telling you to look everything, but at least by looking at this screen, okay, uh, what will be the next question? Okay, just try to uh, try to uh, uh, ask a question within this context, okay? So I'll uh, ask one of you, uh, anyone want to take the first chance to ask? Okay, I will ask this question. Raise your hand. I want to uh, ask about this section. So you guys need more clarity on this. So you guys should ask more question, more question you ask, more knowledge you get about the system. So the next thing that you guys should ask, what is 
you guys ask anything yeah any volunteers So the, does it uh, support uh, multiple currencies and and that currency depend on the uh, language you should choose? Yeah, good question. So the uh, uh, the question is uh, does it uh, does it need to be supported multiple currencies? Yes, you can see that USD in here. And does it uh, uh, does it uh, need to be um, uh, does it need to be uh, validated with the localization that we need to do? Uh, yes, it should support multiple currencies. And the uh, second question, no, it does not matter the uh, location that you are. Uh, you can have Sinhala and you can use USB. Okay, So these things are not interrelated. Uh, you can have English as the language, USB as um usd as the currency and uh, the one of the questions that you guys missed to us what are the currencies that we need to support so we, currently we can see on the usd this the another good question would be what are the currencies that we need to uh, we need to uh, support okay okay but your question is good uh, can you uh, write it down in here and the answer that i have given uh, I, I, ca I can't remember who asked that question. Sorry. Who was that? Sorry, I, I did not catch the name. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll write it. So. Okay, okay. So write your name at the end as well and uh, fill in this bank. Okay. Good, good. So that's kind of interactivity is needed. Okay. Any Any other questions? You, you should ask, okay? Everybody in here uh, should, uh, should have uh, at least one question and one implementation would be given to you. Yes, ask please, based on the, uh, based on this, uh, sir, what is the purpose of adding a become a host button and when we click that button, is there any navigation has happened? Uh, can you uh, describe that? Yeah, good question. So become a host in the sense, uh, it will be the use case of, um, um, let's say for a person who want to rent out their hotel or they want to enlist their hotels, that person will be a host. That is the purpose of a host. So they will be the accommodators. Since we are as the company, we will not own any uh, hotels or villas or any rooms. So we will be uh, the people who are gathering all those things into one place. And the host, the people who are actually uh, actually uh, going to be... Um, uh, actually having the properties or the hotels or uh, any accommodation uh, accommodation that they're willing to lend out or they want to enlist in here, those people will be the host. So uh, a host will be uh, registered within our uh, registered within our system. So uh, to make it uh, as simplest as possible, uh, when we are registering as a host, yes, uh, it will be redirect to a new page. Uh, we'll ask them to um, fill out their email and the name of the location and address. Okay. Once they uh, uh, also their phone number. Okay. Uh, once we, uh, once they have made us a request regarding that. Okay, we will be. Uh, uh, we like to become a host. So the f things that they provided, like the uh, name, location, address, and everything, from the back end or from the admin side, we will verify those information. Let's say, for example, we at least give them a call and say, okay, is this, this so and true, true and true. And if you have any photos or something like this, just send us so we can enlist. 
okay once the admin approves that uh, they will be enlisted okay so that is like the uh, basic of the host process make sense do you need any more information on that uh no so that was clear for me okay now uh, write down that one as well okay good one um so the um next question please yes Uh, uh, there's uh, several tabs in the design. There's hotel, flight, rooms, and the hotel tab is highlighted. So if, yeah. if there's any reason to that tab, so it can no, or any that's a slide or something? Uh, yes. So right now, we are in the hotel tabs. That means we are enlisting right now all the hotels that we can find. So if you scroll down a little bit, all these uh, all these uh, uh, information that we are seeing right now is related to hotels so if we uh, if we go to another page like flights rooms there will be separate pages i mean if we go to flights we will we will be providing them uh, information regarding flights from like, portion a to portion b from rooms uh, yes, we are not individually looking into hotels like big hotel chains or something like that. For rooms, we can simply say we'll be uh, renting out a single room within our within our uh, home or something like that. Flats also the same, uh, and villas maybe are uh, individual homes like uh, you know small homes that we try to rent out. So these are different functionalities within the system. Right now, we are currently looking into hotels, and uh, so we we'll, uh, we have highlighted hotels in here. Makes sense? Yes. Okay. Write that down. Your requirement, your name, and everything. Okay. Now make sure your name is uh, mentioned in the question. Okay. Otherwise, I'm not getting the information. Very good. Okay. Yes, next question. So when they are logging as a host, uh, mm -hmm. are they connecting to another view or the same view is using with different features? Yeah, so uh, as a host, they do not have much of a control uh, of, uh, of their uh, of their uh, pages so definitely they will be uh, uh, redirected to a different uh, web page or different section of the application not going to be something like this within the host uh, host area that means uh, once the host is logged into the system uh, they will have basic uh, basic information uh, such as adding a number of rooms i mean in, in by login uh, by becoming a host they have just given their basic information right so we once we have approved that what will happen is the host can log in using um, uh, using their login credentials or something like that then once they have login they can add rooms they can customize a little bit here and there nothing much Okay. Okay. Good. Very good. Others, ask, ask away. That's it. Yeah. So, uh, what type, what type of things uh, need to be shown as the results of the search option? Uh, you mean in here, search destination and yeah. yeah okay. So right now we are in the hotel view. So. Uh, Set, let's say for example the destination is selected as candy and uh, check-in date is starting from this uh, today and the checking out checkout days would be uh, two days of now 
and the number of uh, adults in here is like two. Once we hit the search, what we will should get is list of all the uh, hotels available given to this criteria. Okay. Okay. So uh, probably we will be will be leaving this page to another page with the search result rather than showing it in here. This is like a front page, right? So rather than showing that, we will be uh, redirected to a, a different page. Probably some uh, detailed view about the locations that we that we can go. Make sense? Okay, while you're asking, please uh, fill out those things, okay? All right, yes, others, please. I will send the um, send the design as well for you guys, uh, so you guys can uh, check that out. Any other questions? Everybody should have a question, right? It's as I mentioned, open in that. More question that you guys ask, the more you know about the system. Um, excuse me, sir. Yeah. Okay. Hello, sir. Yeah, I yeah, can hear you. Okay. So, is that um, registered user uh, can only see this um, entire application or the guest user also can see that? Yeah. So, right now, uh, the application, the, the screen that you're seeing, it is uh, unauthenticated. That means anyone who comes to website can see this. But probably once you log in, uh, there will be uh, some restricted views, such as uh, what are the hotels that you have booked? What is your history? Any, any bookings that you have done previously? Um, and you can uh, probably see your names and uh, emails associated like profile view. You will get to see that thing. But uh, what you're seeing right here is uh, unauthenticated that anyone can, anyone should be able to see this. This is public one. Yes, good questions. <laughs> Hello, sir. Yep. Uh, sir, when we click the see all button, is there any limitation to view uh, the things? Uh, see all button in here, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So see all button would uh, will redirect you to a different page. Uh, so it will be like for now, you guys can see only four information, four hotel details in here. But when you click see all, you would go to a page and it will show like a uh, paged view. That means we are not going to show everything at once, but we will say uh, 20 per page. And if you hit next, you will get uh, 20 more. If you're not the first one, it, it will be paginated. That means if, if, say, for instance, you have 400 hotels, so First page will show you 20, the second page will show the next 20, and so on and so forth, up, up until you go, you go up to 400, uh, 400 hotels. Make sense? Yes, sir. Uh, is there any carousel or something to be in the front page, uh, the home page? Right now, no. No carousels are responding in here. 
Okay, sir. Perfect. Very good. Very good. So you are you guys are sticking to the details. That's perfect. Okay. Any questions? <clears throat> so uh, there was that discount uh, uh, discount yeah. part yeah. and uh, so how uh, the other party that like uh, a bank or something how the uh, they uh, make add on this part yeah so uh, this is like a promotional view only right now we uh, we are not collaborating any banking facilities right now we just this is for like dummy purposes we have put like 50 percent of your savings and so on and so forth so this is at the time is like completely dummy data okay So we will just show some banners in here, but we will not connect any payment gateways or bad button, um, bank offers or something like that. For now, for, we'll, for showcase, we are having these things. Make sense? Yeah, got it. Okay. So good questions because I'm, I'm, ask, I'm answering you as a real client. My honest answers probably uh, in a real world system, real world application, you will have a bank connection, that's kind of offers going on. But right now, uh, we are not uh, in that space. We are just showcasing these things. Okay, really good. Yeah. Your observations are excellent. Okay. That's to be said. Sir? Yep. Sir, are we planning to add features like Google Authentication or any? Or, uh, we are going to use uh, normal email authentication for login um, and register. Okay, good question. So we will be, uh, we'll be using Google Authentication, Facebook Authentication, and that kind of authentication mechanism available there. Email uh, one as well, okay? We'll be using email authentication and so on and so forth. Uh, but social logins, at least Google and Facebook, we will add those things. At least Google should be there. Okay, good questions, nice. Hello, sir. Yep. Uh, when we scroll this page, Mm -hmm. uh, is the addition show there for example like, fade out fading like that? Um, right now we do not have any uh, animation proposed for this since this is a Figma design. Yes, we we haven't you know shown any animation in here. But appropriately, if we find like when we scroll down a little bit, if we can get uh, the let's say the hottest destination in Sri Lanka section, if you can fade in. If it is more appropriate and not uh, cluttering the u user's view, yes, we will probably include that. Yes. Okay. okay. Sorry. Animation, yes, good. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, are we going to use uh, some uh, online payments uh, when uh, booking? Uh, yes, that should be a, oh. a requirement. Uh, so we'll be... uh, what kind of payment gateways uh, uh, should we use uh, as yeah. examples? So, uh, some payment gateways are not available for Sri Lanka. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll be we'll be uh, incorporating something uh, something uh, from local banks. Okay, so we'll let's say for example we will use some uh, local bank payment gateway. 
So let's oh. say we will uh, use uh, um, some pay, pay co payment gateway, something like that. Yeah. We have not actually de determined on what payment gateway or the bank partnering bank. Or we will be using something uh, from local. Okay, thank you. Okay, thanks. Hello, sir. Yep. So, in terms of the category section, uh, mm -hmm. I think there are six categories visible in the Figma design. Mm, yep. Uh, are the, there are only six categories in this system, sir? Yes, currently we are going with uh, these six categories. Okay, sir. I think I believe host can assign the category for a property, right, sir? Yes. So the uh, host will be responsible for categorizing their either it's going to be a hotel, villa, or etc. Okay, sir. Then, sir, uh, how many uh, categories can define for a one property, sir? Uh, one property, which uh, let's stick to one. So I, okay, I don't think you, uh, I don't think um, uh, it's gonna be apartment as well as a resort, right? So right now we will stick to one to one, but if the requirements so requirement changes, we might have one to many. Say for example, there might be a hotel and a villa. Uh, in that scenario, we might come for two categories, but right now with the initial requirement, we will call go with hotel and uh, hotel as one category, so that means one to one mapping. Okay, Great. thank you, sir. Great. Great. Okay, any other questions, guys? Sir? Yep. Uh, sir, may, uh, when we are click uh, see all, uh, whether we are directing to another page or we are showing everything in the same page? We'll be directing to a separate page, not in the same page. Otherwise, it will it will be clutter in the view. So we'll be directing to some, some, uh, some other page. Okay, sir. Okay. Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, we'll be using for uh, this website uh, uh, normal uh, certificate or SSL, SSL certificate. Uh, probably we'll use the SSL certificate because uh, the, the uh, site should be secured, right? We are expecting to do yes, payments. Yes, payments. Okay. Yeah. We are doing to exp do uh, payments. We are trying to uh, install user information. Probably any information that we share. Uh, at least we should have uh, encrypted via uh, SSL certificate. Yes, we will be using an SSL certificate. Good. Good. Okay. Sir. Okay. Mm 
Yes. Any other questions? Let's bring down bring all them in the table. Okay. So uh, I assume that most of the questions that we need is like uh, right now we got it. Okay, but. Uh, as from experience, yes, the there will be a lot more questions coming in here and here and there. We will uh, we'll try to uh, amend those changes, amend those things um, while we are doing that. Okay, so next thing we assume that uh, um, we we assume that uh, the all the questions that we got right now for kickstart our project is enough. You know the. Uh, Project uh, will be evolving soon, but we need to get things started. So in, in order to get things started, the next thing is that we need to do, we need to um, set up the new project and uh, we need to share the code. Okay, all of you guys are gonna be shareholders in this project. Okay, all, all of you should be uh, someone uh, participating in, in this uh, project. So what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll be creating uh, a shareable source code and we will uh, update that code in uh, some place. So um, I hope you guys uh, know uh, Bitbucket. Uh, so I'll create a Bitbucket repository. So based on that, uh, uh, we will be creating uh, we'll be creating some applications okay so the next thing is source code management so right now i have used i'm using uh, bitbucket as the source code manager but you feel free to use any um, repository that uh, any uh, code sharing platforms of your choice there is github gitlab so many out there uh, at the end, uh, the projects that we're going to be creating, uh, it's going to be somewhere in, in some sort of source code management. Git is now the uh, most, uh, uh, most uh, let's say, popular one out there. So I will uh, create a new, uh, a new uh, uh, project. Okay, for now, I will just name this one as... Um, as the application itself, okay? So repository, uh, I, I'll create a new project and say uh, software arch, okay? And repository is uh, bloom soup, okay? So I'm not gonna make it private because I need you guys to access this and I keep this private as well. Uh, with I need a readme, you know, uh, default branch name. Uh, so we normally don't, uh, earlier we use uh, master and new branches. Nowadays we do not use the term master. Uh, so we use the name something like main, okay. Uh, Git igno, uh, I would not, uh, have anything, I'll just create the repository. Okay, so I hope you guys know uh, Git and everything. Uh, anyone need any uh, introduction to Git and everything? Anyone have trouble with Git? Raise your hand if you do not know Git or something like that. I need to do uh, direction because everybody should have a clone of this application and everybody should be able to access this. So probably you need Git and everything set up. Okay, I suppose you guys know Git and everything. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know. I have, uh, uh, I have a separate playlist. Uh, on configuring Git and everything, but uh, even uh, in the open internet, you will find a lot of information regarding this, okay? 
So we have the Git repository. I'm not sure whether you guys have access to it. So I will share this within the group as well. So you guys have this information as well. Okay. So right now uh, we are in the NT, uh, NT project, NT repository. And I would, uh, uh, I can just start everything regarding these things, but and the next thing that we need to do is we need to make uh, the project plan. Okay, so we need to plan the project. How we gonna uh, make these things uh, work, and so and so forth. All right. So uh, as I mentioned earlier, there are different tools that we can uh, plan the project. Okay. So when we are using the bucket, we get set of crawl, uh, set of uh, tools. And if you are using some other tool, we probably get uh, some other uh, tools as well. Okay, so we can uh, we can create uh, the uh, create the application by resolving tickets or issues, what we call. So we we create an issue, and by resolving that issue, we uh, contribute to our application. So we, rather than we are going, uh, creating uh, the source code and everything, first we plan everything. We plan everything. What are the things that we are going to be using? What are the things that we are going to be going? Uh, we'll be blocking and everything. So we need to make a plan. Okay, the plan is uh, to use a professional planning tool. Uh, of course, Jira is one of them. You can uh, have those things uh, set up and everything. Probably when you go to industry or if you are some trying something on, you would probably use uh, Jira to full extent. I'm not limiting Jira. Okay, that is like the widely used tool, but there are so many other tools, so many great tools that you can work with. But nevertheless, the concept is the same. You need to come up with a plan. So all uh, all all in order to work with these things you need a plan where you can uh, have these things set up and everything okay so uh, i can probably use jira issues in here you guys can see within the application itself we have jira issues and probably we need to uh, connect this one to jira right now i, I haven't connect the application to jira so if i connect this one to Jira, it will probably come up with in here. Uh, there are other tools uh, that we can use other than Jira itself, as I mentioned. Uh, there is open to, uh, not open, like free tool called uh, Trello. Uh, we can use that. We can, uh, we can use uh, any other tools of our choice. And uh, like there are project management tools like Asana and so so and so forth but any tool that can visualize the progress that we can list out the issues that we can plan a sprint or a kanban would do great okay so make sure you uh, use something like that so um, since we are using uh, the jira section let's try to connect jira i'm not sure whether i have yes uh, Jira integration, uh, I think I do not have. Um, let me check, give me a second of the screen, I need to check. Uh, da, da, da. I don't think I um I have Jira integration with me, so we will use something else. Okay, uh, something from Jira itself. I think the software itself now owned by um, Jira itself, so you guys can uh, use that one as well. It's called Trello. You can use uh, whatever the um, 
uh, whatever uh, uh, authentication mechanism you guys like. Let me log into Trello. Um, okay, so I I just choose Trello. Uh, so uh, I'll share you guys a link so you guys can jump on to this one as well. Uh, if if I mean I uh, for uh, it will be easy for us if I if we had Jira integration in here. But unfortunately. It might need some money uh, involved in, so we're probably not gonna um, do that. Yeah, there might be a free version right now. Uh, I'll be focusing on the um, free version or free thing that we can find in trailer. Okay, so that is something normal. Uh, I mean, it it should not something like uh, uh, the issue creation and all those things within the same tech stack it can be in different different places like the issue creation happens in jira or trello or asana but your source code management happen in here okay that that is that can be two different things i'll show you guys why that uh, uh, why is something like that would help also in some cases because most of the time the end end user will see a progress report using something like trello and it's if a project or the developer group need to show uh, some bugs or something related to that, they will see it in the Jira issues or something like that. But we'll see how it goes. So right now I will create a sample board. Okay. So uh, right now, uh, what uh, uh, what we can do is uh, create. The board from this template. I will, I will name this board as Blon Blonsu. Okay, and I will create that. Okay, I have created a, a simple board project. Okay, this will be something similar that you will guys if you guys go to. Trello, Arsene, or something like that. It, it's gonna be same. So brainstorming is like the initial to do is what we have to do, and doing is anyone if he, if somebody is doing some some task, it will be under doing and done for uh, if it is completed. And there will be some QA task as well. For example, if somebody is reviewing the code, okay, there will be a review process and there can be some tickets in testing process. There can be different lanes. We call these things lanes. There can be different lanes. But for now, we will just have these four lanes. If we need, we can add another lane and other, another list and we can move forward and backwards in here. Okay, so we have the application. Uh, uh, that can I add people? Uh, workspace this will be a public so we will have more idea or uh, in here where uh, okay get to share this one uh yeah this board with a link can join as members okay so what i'm doing is i'm inviting you guys to join okay and you you guys will be members on this Probably, if you have any other um, any other responsibilities, we will add those things later on. Right now, I'll share the um, board as well, so you guys can join in. And probably uh, the application uh, application things that we have discussed so far, uh, these things. Uh, this is like a requirement document. But issues that we're going to be creating is going to be in here. Probably this description might come here and there with the tickets and all those things. Uh, right now, we will keep this requirement document uh, separate. Okay. Blonsu uh, requirement document. Okay, so within this requirement document, I will add uh, other informations like 
uh, source code can be available, it will be available within this, uh, this section and uh, issue tracker will be of uh, this one. So we know uh, in our requirement document, everything that we need to find will be in a single place. So you, everyone can come and read this document and uh, have an idea. By the way, uh, even preparing this technical document is another task, okay? So if, if you think uh, you, you want to be part of, uh, part of the project itself, okay? Uh, even formatting this document, even uh, making this look nice, is also considered as a task. Okay, there are people, the technical writers, document writers, those people are considered as uh, people uh, or the stakeholders within this project. So feel free to uh, amend or change anything within this document. Uh, that's uh, coming under a technical writer or a documentation role, okay? So make sure uh, you, if somebody is able to do changes, uh, gladly do those things, make this a little bit nicer and look even look better. That is perfect, okay? So uh, next thing that we need to do is we have, uh, we have the project, we have some idea about the project, we have decided our extract and everything. Now what we need to do is we need to uh, we need to initiate this project. We need to at least initiate the project. Right now, everything that we that we are trying to do in here in the re requirement and everything, first we need to set up this project. Okay, we need to uh, get uh, get initiating initial initial. Um, source code up and running and we need we need to have some skeleton uh, put into into this application so we need a project to be created okay so by using the technologies that we have uh, done so far we can uh, do a small project and append it in here okay then what we will do is we will uh, we will break down uh, the task that each and every developer should work on. And based on those tasks, we'll be, uh, we'll be doing the uh, simple, um, simple reviews and everything, okay? So let me do uh, the first task, okay? The first task, uh, I'll go to uh, to-do section and I will add a card, okay? I will, I'm not sure that you guys can see, hopefully now, much better. Uh, create initial uh, source code for uh, initial source projects. Uh, initial, let's say, will be specific Angular and uh, Nest JS uh, projects. Okay. So I can add the card. So even in here, I can give more description. Uh, what are the things that I need to do and everything. So who is the uh, members uh, members uh, who will be responsible? So I will add myself as the person who is responsible for this. And if I have a due date, I need to add that due date. Uh, probably I will. I have to uh, complete it. Uh, this by today and uh, yeah i will make it like a time even 8 p.m before 8 p.m i need to do this done and save so i have a little bit uh, time left and i can label it uh, with uh, with uh, whatever the uh, types that I am be gonna be working on, so if it is a green label, uh, uh, I can have a label name for this. 
right now the green is not title to anything i will uh, say project uh, uh, project based things i will i will have something like that and if it is like in red i will consider that one as uh, angular task okay and if it is in uh, orange i will consider that one as an sjs task so we can clearly see what are the what are the task distribution and if it is in blue i will uh, things as this will be a mobile task right now we do not have any mobile but for, for future reference and if it is in uh, brown i will say the docu few documentation documentation if it is documentation then for purple i will say testing or qa task testing slash qa okay so any task that we come under we can actually add more uh, add more uh, labels if you like right now it's going to be a project task that means it's covered by the whole project so we'll have something like that and okay i i have initial project and everything in here so right now what i what i have is uh, one project uh, task under my name so this is going to be my uh, project so i'll create that task i'll show you guys what is the process and probably we will create uh, more more tasks in here assign people give a due date and we'll go the, go on the process okay So initial task is a little bit, a little bit of uh, work should be there, but I will uh, make uh, as um, less complicated as much as possible. Okay. All right. <clears throat> First thing that we need to do is I need to create the project. Okay. So uh, one thing when we are doing source code management, uh, it is a bit best practice we have things you know we have in git we have things called branches so we we need to have a um, set of branches created right now uh, the application has no branch or nothing uh, whatsoever so the initial uh, initial uh, initial uh, change that we need to do the create team pass is going to be within the main branch okay so we'll create the main branch first, then um, then we'll push the code. And going forward, we will be having uh, things like uh, uh, things like other uh, uh, application creations and everything. Okay. Um, or we can just let me do a quick thing. I'll do uh, create a readme in here. Okay. And I will add the readme file. That means my initial commit or initial thing will be this uh, this readme. Okay, so we will go from the initial process and everything uh, as tickets. That is more better as I see. Okay, uh, so my initial commit, my initial code contribution is this readme file. And I am committing to that. Let me see what I get. Okay. So right now I am in my main branch. Okay. Main branch is uh, the basically the uh, stable branch in in in, in your for project we will have uh, several uh, branches based on the task that we're going to be doing probably a development task will be in the dev branch if we have an issue we will have issue branch we will have feature branch we'll just discuss on that right now our branch will be main so this is like the initial version now you guys can see there are like several things that we have added so we have our branches list we have the commit list what are the commits that we have done so far and pipeline pull request and so and so forth. okay so um, right now uh, do i see an issue in here all right
So, um, okay. So right now my source code is like really really uh, simple. I uh, think I have an invite. Uh, permissions. Right. Okay. Uh, can you guys see whether you guys can clone this repository as well as was I'm doing? So right now I I have my repository with me. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clone this directly. Okay. So there are two options that uh, I can do. Either I can do HTTPS or SSH. I would recommend using SSH. Uh, process, but in order to have SSH uh, SSH cloning facility, you need to have a private key and a public key. So you need to do some of more tasks in order to set up an SSH key. But I highly recommend setting up the SSH uh, in your Bitbucket and your machine. Okay, so it will be less worrisome for you guys. Okay, so right now um, I will clone this project and I will add, add the, uh, add, uh, I'll continue afterwards. So right now I have one task in my hand to initiate the project. So in to, do, to do the initiation, I would just uh, copy the git that I am, a git project that I have in here. So I'll copy this and I'll take a terminal and clone it there. So wherever you uh, uh, put your projects, uh, put that there. So I'm currently, I have a, a directory uh, within, within my machine uh, only for JavaScript related ones. So I am gonna open a terminal. Uh, let me share the terminal as well. So you guys have an idea. Sharing uh, a terminal to this one as well. Google Chrome. Sure. So I have two windows now. So I have a terminal open for me, and I have uh, my machine. Uh, right now, I am in my project directory where I normally put all my projects related to JavaScript, and I do a clone to this. So basically, I will be doing a big clone. So git clone, and I will have the project. Uh, so okay, cloning. I don't have permission. So this is something that you guys can get. That means you don't have the uh, access permission to the application. Let me double check whether I have the permissions in here. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you guys can uh, actually do a fork. I will show you guys to, how to do a fork. Probably make sure one of you guys uh, have access to this. So I'll just first check whether I have my uh, repository cloning capabilities. Repository permissions. Let me check. Do I have any issues? Let's see. 